as you all might have read about nipah virus outbreak in kerala hence i will be speaking briefly about nipah virus nipah virus is a is a rna virus comes under paramyxovirus group and uh, this virus transmission mainly happens through the bats to the human beings or from bats to animals and then to the human beings it can also happen transmission from human to human beings when a person gets exposed to the nipah virus they will start developing fever myalgia and they can develop the cough and most of these patients will end up with the encephalitis that means having an altered sensorium or unconsciousness the most important thing about this nipah virus infect infection is the mortality is very high and the mortality that is a death ranges from 30 to 70 percent and as we all know the outbreak of nipah virus in kerala in the year 2018 total 23 patients were uh, infected and out of which only two patients survived that means the mortality rate was more than 90 percent the diagnosis of nipah virus is mainly through the pcr based technique or through the elisa and the samples that has to be sent is either the nasal swab throat swab blood urine or the csf swab has to be sent for the diagnosis of nipah virus the prevention is mainly to avoid getting in close contact with the animals or the or the animal products and avoid being close contact with the person who is infected with nipah virus treatment we do not have any specific treatment as of now but however the supportive supportive care only has to be given the vaccines are on the process and one can also use monoclonal antibodies for the prevention for the people who are exposed